Hello students, how are you doing? Hope you're doing good. Alright, we are going to be working on basic science today. This is our sixth week. We are still on light, so that's our topic. Still on light, and we are going to be playing with lights and materials, okay? Now, people use opaque and translucent materials to make shadows in some theaters, some type of theaters, okay? If you look very well at this image, you will see, you will see, this image is displaying puppets, these things that looks like toys, looks like toys, like human toys, okay? Then you see the screen, that's this side, where it's centered, in, that's the screen, and then you see the light source, you see the hand flashing the light towards the screen, and then you see this this that look like um, a stick that is holding the puppets okay then down this way you will see the image what it looks like you know, you see the image what it looks like so people are looking at it they don't know that these are uh, these 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 things are shadows you see the shadow down here okay now shadows are not always the same sometimes shadows can be dark and black like in the shadow puppet theater okay these shadows have sharp edges they are easy to see but shadows can also be in color and they can be fusy when i mean fusy that means they can be blurry they will be fusy if some of the light is blocked and not all the lights okay look at this uh, shadow puppets it's dark but there is light there also okay then look at also this one the shadow this of these two girls holding an instrument or probably a puppet you see the light source you see that the, the shadow is colored okay so some some shadows can be colored not always dark and black okay now at least from this we now know that shadows are not always black and clear some also can be blood some can be fuzzy okay and also shadows can be in what color okay thank you very much this is the shortest lesson we have for today have a great night or day have a great day